Welcome to the TearSet tutorial video series. This tutorial video will guide you through the process of installing and activating your multi-seat TearSet license on your server and client machines. There are three major steps involved in setting up a multi-seat license. First, you need to install TearSet on your server machine. Next, you must activate your TearSet license on the server. Finally, you must install and activate TearSet on your client machines. Step 1, Install TearSet on the server, can be broken down into several sub-steps. First, you should determine what type of multi-seat license you have, then decide what type of installation to do, and finally, install the program. TearSet multi-seat licenses may be campus licenses, campus maintenance licenses, lab kits, or concurrent licenses. Campus and campus maintenance licenses have an unlimited number of seats, while lab kits have a fixed number of seats, usually less than 20. If you have a campus or campus maintenance license with unlimited seats, your server machine must be running a Windows Server operating system to allow unlimited users to access the TearSet license. If you have a lab kit with 20 seats or less, your server can be running Windows 7, 8, 10, or server operating systems. Once you've determined what operating system your server needs to be running, you should decide on what type of installation you wish to do on the server. You can choose to install the full TearSet program or do a thin installation, installing only the license manager. If you want to be able to operate the full TearSet program on the server, choose the full installation. If you plan to use the server only to contain and manage the TearSet license, you can do the thin installation. To do the full installation, when you get to this panel in the Install Aware Wizard, keep the default option of Complete Setup. If you want to do the thin installation, choose Personalized Setup. Then, deselect the first two options and select the third option on the following panel. Simply follow the instructions in the Install Aware Wizard to finish the server installation. The next step is to activate your TearSet license on the server. This step can also be broken down into several sub-steps. First, you must set permissions on the TearSet license folder. These permissions will determine who can access the license file and must be specified correctly in order to allow client machines access to the TearSet license. Then you can go on to activate the license on the server. There are two types of permissions that must be set, sharing and security permissions. To set the permissions, first locate the folder containing the TearSet license file. If you accepted the default installation location, the license folder will be located on the C drive in Program Files x86 TearSet. Right-click on the license folder and go to Properties. Let's start with the Sharing tab. Go to Advanced Sharing and check the box next to share this folder if it isn't already checked. I'm using a machine with a Windows Server operating system, so there's no limit on the number of users who can access a folder at the same time. If you're using a machine with a Windows 7, 8, or 10 operating system, you'll be limited to a maximum of 20 simultaneous users on the license folder. If you are setting up a lab kit with no more than 20 seats, this should not be a problem. Make sure that the number of simultaneous users is set to the maximum allowed. If, however, you're setting up a campus or campus maintenance multi-seat license with unlimited users, you'll need to use a machine running a Windows Server operating system to avoid limitations on the number of simultaneous users. Next, click Permissions. Make sure that all relevant groups and users have both read and change or modify permissions checked. Let's go on to the Security tab. 
make sure that all relevant groups and users have, at minimum, read and write permissions to the license folder. If you are unsure that permissions are set correctly, you can easily test them by logging on to a client machine as a regular user, not an administrator, and attempting to copy a file from the client into the license folder on the server machine. If you're able to do this, the server write permissions are set correctly. Once you are confident that the file share permissions are set correctly, you can activate the Tearset license on the server. Go to the Start menu to launch the Tearset License Manager. You must have an internet connection to activate a multi-seat license, so be sure the server can access the internet. Then, choose the Server Network Radio button and enter your license ID and password. These will have been emailed to you when you purchased Tearset. You must also specify the UNC path which defines the location of the Tearset license file. The UNC path is typically in the form backslash backslash server name backslash share name backslash Tearset.lic. The server name variable can be either the server name or its IP address. If the client machines are on a different subnet than the server, Use the IP address to ensure that the client machines can find the Tearset license on the server. In fact, we strongly recommend using the IP address rather than the server name in all cases. The share name variable refers to the folder for which you just modified the share and security permissions. Unless you changed the name of the license folder, the share name is license. Once the UNC path is specified, Click Activate Online to activate the license. Check that the activation worked by reopening the License Manager. If the license was activated successfully, the type of license that was activated will be shown at the top of the Tearset License Manager, and there will now be a deactivation option. The third and final step in setting up your Tearset multi-seat license is to install and activate Tearset on the client machines. Start by installing Tearset on the clients. Once the Tearset installation is complete on a client machine, there are two ways you can activate the client. You can either launch the license manager and manually activate the client, or you can use the float path to activate clients more quickly. To manually activate a client, launch the License Manager, select Client Network, and copy-paste the exact same UNC path as you did for the server activation. Alternatively, you can activate clients without needing to open the License Manager on each client machine simply by copying a file called Float Path from the License folder on the server to the license folder on each client machine. This float path file will be created when you activate the server. There are a couple of additional notes for multi-seat installation and activation. First, if your network is not using a domain server, but rather using Microsoft workgroups, all clients and the server must be on the same workgroup. Second, Remember that if you want to move your Tearset license to a different server machine, you must first deactivate the license on the original server. Finally, be sure to deactivate your Tearset license on the server before making any major changes to the server machine, such as upgrading or changing the operating system or reconfiguring the machine. Once the changes are complete, you can reactivate the license. These instructions, along with installation and activation instructions for older versions of the Tearset software, can be found on our website at clarklabs.org. Click Support, then click Tearset Installation Guide. If you encounter issues while installing or activating your Tearset software, please contact us on the Clark Labs Support Center, which can be accessed by going to our website clicking Support, then clicking Clark Labs Support Center. Be sure to sign up to create an account, 
Then submit a request for help. Be sure to include full details on the server and client machine specifications, the issue you are encountering, and the license ID so our tech support staff can assist you.